In the second half of this video, we'll be looking at how to create ocean wave sounds from scratch. So if you want to see that, make sure you stick around. But first, we need to talk about the real reason I'm making this video. If you spend any time on YouTube at all today, I'm sure you'll become aware of Project Team Seas, put together by Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. And I want to do my part in helping spread awareness. You see, living in Florida, the majority of this state is surrounded by water. On top of that, we're home to over 30,000 lakes and 55,000 acres of nature preserves. But Florida is less than 1% of this whole planet, and it's not going to clean itself. The Team Seas campaign is attempting to raise $30 million by the end of 2021. For every dollar raised, they pledge to clean up one pound of garbage from our oceans, seas, lakes, and rivers. To find out how you can get involved, head over to teamseas.org. As for me, I'll not only be donating 100% of this video's ad revenue, I'll also be donating 100% of the revenue earned from my sound libraries on Bandcamp, as well as the Unreal Engine Marketplace between now and the end of the year. If that's not incentive enough, I also highly recommend heading over to my friend and fellow sound designers channel, Aftertouch Audio. Tyler's working on creating a special sound library that you can get for free just for donating to Team Seas. So make sure you click the link in the description or the little card that just popped up in the top right corner of your screen to learn more. Now with that being said, let's make some waves. All right, so let's start making some waves from scratch. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a stereo audio track. And uh, you can follow along in any DAW. Uh, I just recommend using a DAW that allows for automation. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and grab a chunk here. Uh, so say five minutes. And in Pro Tools, we can use the audio suite to generate. Uh, but any signal generator will work. And we're looking for pink noise. And we want our frequency to be right around negative six. And so what we're going to be doing is we're using this pink noise as the baseline for our waves. So we're going to go ahead and render this out. And I'm also going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to mute this duplicate track for now because we'll get into that in just a little bit. But what we want to do is we want to end up using an EQ to really shape the sound of this wave. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a low pass and a high pass filter on that. Switch those, high pass, low pass. And I'm going to roll off quite a bit of our lows. And the reason that I'm doing that is because we're actually going to end up using this second track for our low frequencies. I'm going to put this roughly about 200 hertz. And so you can hear a lot of the low end uh, has already come off. And we're going to be using our low pass filter to automate and bring these waves to life. So I find the sweet spot is usually between one and two K. And uh, so we're going to end up automating this. So if I go ahead and play with it for you. You can hear that we're really starting to develop uh, that liveliness of waves coming in and out. I'm going to move this back down to about one kilohertz. And we're going to set that low pass filter to be able to be automated. All right, so we can go ahead and I'm going to put this in touch mode. And if you're not familiar with touch mode and automation, basically it means that when I hit play, 
and I grab this low, fa low pass frequency node and start moving it, any movement that I do to it is going to get written on the automation. So it's almost like a performance. So we're going to hit play and I'm just going to go ahead and sweep between one and two kilohertz and we'll go from there. So now that we have some automation written, uh, what we can actually do is we can, we're gonna zoom in here. We're gonna highlight this performance. And we can actually copy just the automation. Now, if you are gonna turn this into a seamless loop, uh, you wanna make sure that whatever value that very first node and the very last one is, uh, you want those to be identical. Otherwise you're gonna get some weird jumping in the frequencies. Uh, so, I mean, you can come in and manually move some of these as needed. For now, I'm not gonna do it though, uh, just so we can get through this. So we've got our automation written for our uh, low pass filter. And if I put this back into read and hit play. You can see that we now have that automation on there. So something else that I'm going to do is I am going to send this to a very large reverb. We've got a stereo aux track and call this reverb. Bring that up to Unity. Make sure our aux is solo safed. Not that it matters in this, but it's a force of habit to solo safe all of my reverb tracks. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a very large church reverb on here. And so this is just gonna add some depth to, to our waves and kind of add perspective as if you know we're standing on the beach staring at the ocean. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna unmute the second track. And like I said, we're gonna use the second track for all of our low frequencies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another EQ here. And again, we're just using the high pass and the low pass filters. And only this time, we're going to take a bunch of these eyes out. And I'm going to leave the, the high pass filter right where it is. We only want to roll off just a little bit. So go ahead and play around with the low pass filter just to kind of find a good point in where you want to be. Now I'm going to put it right around 200 because with our other EQ, that's about where we started rolling off. So we want to make sure we're still including all of our content. And you can adjust these uh, because obviously with this EQ shape, 
Um, so nobody screams at me in the comments. Yes, there will be a dip right around 200 hertz. Um, so you can kind of move these to overlap them if you want. Um, but what we're going to end up doing really isn't going to matter too much in that area. So unlike with the first track where I had automated the low pass frequency or low pass filter, uh, what I'm going to be automating on this track is actually the volume. But first, I'm actually going to add a compressor onto this. And I like using Maxim. Uh, Maxim is more of a mastering compressor, uh, not like one of the like just frequency band compressors. And you could probably use um, like a band compressor and keep this all on one track. But because I'm going to be volume automating instead of frequency automating the lows, I like to split them out. So if we hit play, uh, now you'll be able to hear the automation on the highs and what we have of the low end frequency content. So we're going to go ahead and like I said, we're going to automate the volume on this. And I'm going to zoom in because what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and follow the performance that I did with the automation here. We'll go ahead and put this into touch and we'll hit play. We can go ahead and copy this out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now there's one last thing that I'm gonna do to this um, before I will call the waves finished, is I'm gonna add a stereo widener to this. Because if we're standing on the beach, staring out at the ocean, we're gonna hear a lot of the high frequency content right in front of us, but bass frequencies are more omnidirectional. So we're actually going to hear a lot of the low end from further off. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, like I said, a stereo widener here. And I'm just gonna bring this out to about 100. And now, if we hit play, these lows are just a little too loud. So because we did this in automation, we want to select everything and we can move everything down uh, in a relative fashion. And that's all there is to creating waves. Now you could probably come in here and add some wind, um, you add people, ambience, as if there's a bunch of people um, on the beach, some seagulls, you know, really just kind of flesh this out. But as far as just creating the waves, that's it.